It's not going to stop gun manufacturers. It's not going to stop the sale of firearms, but it's going to ensure that at least they're done with responsibility, with accountability, and with safety in mind. Nicole Hockley and the families of eight other Sandy Hook victims have spent the last seven years fighting a battle no one thought they would win. Nicole's son Dylan would be 15 years old this year. He was one of the 20 children and six adults murdered at Sandy Hook Elementary School December 14, 2012. The fight against Remington Arms, the gun manufacturer that made the AR-15 used in the attack, was a monumental undertaking, in part because of a 2005 law that protects gun manufacturers from litigation. Once we started seeing the marketing material, that was a big eye opener. Attorneys representing the families argued that Remington deliberately marketed the AR-15 to troubled young men through placement in violent video games and advertisements like this one that says, consider your man card reissued. I know that the headlines today are going to be a lot about the $73 million. Um, that is just not really on my radar. Um, it's more about the process of what we can now do with what we've discovered and how we can share that to everyone else. Hockley, like so many of the parents, wants her son to be remembered beyond the tragedy. What do you hope his legacy will be? I want him to be remembered as a, a beautiful six-year-old boy who helped create change for others. I don't want people to ever forget his name, his gorgeous eyes, his smile, and I want his voice to be part of creating that safer future.